Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another Tag Tuesday, this time with the Project Pan Questionnaire Tag. I was browsing through a few newer channels that I've been subscribed to recently, and I found this tag through Elizabeth Christensen's channel, so I'll link the video that I found down below. And I searched it up and a lot of people did this tag back in like 2017 was when the tag went around. So I am definitely late to this game, but I thought it was such a cool tag. And since I've been doing a lot more Project Pans, blah, blah, blah. And since I've been doing a lot more Project Pans recently, I thought it would be fun to go through these questions. I found it through Elizabeth's channel, but I haven't been able to find like who actually like originally created the tag. So I'm really sorry about that. If anyone knows the creator, please let me know so I can give them the actual credit in my description box. So there are 10 questions in this tag. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. First question is, why did you start Project Panic? This is an interesting question because it seemed almost like a natural progression. I went from someone years ago who couldn't even afford to buy basic makeup supplies to someone who could afford to buy more makeup that I could use. And I feel like I definitely got into this collector mindset after having watched YouTube for so long, after having not really been able to invest into my hobbies once I had that kind of extra income I might have gone a bit crazy but I liked it like it was my hobby I really built up my collection to the point where I could actually call it a makeup collection and then I feel like I hit kind of like that mass capacity like limit and I'm like I have a lot of makeup but how much do I actually know about myself and how I use it so I feel like that was more of what pushed me to Project Pan. It wasn't necessarily like I've got a lot of makeup, I want to use it, but that definitely was a part of it. The main point was that I need to learn more about my own relationship with makeup. Like specifically, like what foundation formulas work best for me? What eyeshadow formulas do I like the most? Uh, can I use an entire palette up? Because I've never done that before, before last year. So it was really more of those introspective kind of questions that pushed me to do project panning. Question number two is what is the most rewarding part of project panning? I would say this is a tie. Half of it being that it's the satisfaction of actually using up an entire product that you bought. I feel like I feel like this is kind of a unique thing to the beauty community in the fact that for someone who has a big collection, actually finishing up a product is something to celebrate. Whereas, I don't know, in any, in any other community, is it like a big hurrah whenever you like f finish a product? Or if you actually use a product? Right? I feel like it's unique to our community and it, it is still something to celebrate because in order to finish an entire makeup product, you have to dedicate time, you have to dedicate, you know, effort, you have to commit yourself to using something that may or may not work for you over and over and over and over again. So I, I think that's the part of it. The second part is the community. I, I really do enjoy the panning community and just getting to connect with other people. Because I'm gonna be honest, there's no one in my day-to-day -day life I can talk to about makeup to the extent that we do online. I'll never forget when uh, someone at my job actually complimented my uh, highlight in my makeup, but specifically they said my highlight. And I was like, oh my God, yes, I'm wearing this A, the blah, 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 blah highlight, and I bought it at blah, 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 and it's, it's got these reviews. And like, I got way too into it than what she was, I guess, attempting to do. <laughs> She just really liked the highlight and just wanted to know what it was and I just went like brrr, like just off And I can do that online and everyone will kind of get it and they'll want to learn more Whereas my coworker was just like, oh, that's nice and then like walked away <laughs> Question number three is what is the most challenging part of project panning? And I think that goes hand in hand with one of the most rewarding parts is that you have to dedicate yourself, especially if you have a larger collection, you have to commit yourself to using this one product a little bit to the detriment of the rest of your collection in order to use this product up. 
I've definitely noticed since doing my project pans, I'm definitely more dedicated to my everyday makeup basket to the point where kind of the rest of my makeup collection, what's in my Alex drawers, tends to sit there more often than it used to. What it's really pushed me to do is do a more thorough check of my collection every month to really update my everyday basket so that I've got a variety of products in my basket that I can reach for when I'm not working on my project pans. Question number four is how many project pans have you done and do you plan on doing more? Yes, <laughs> definitely plan on doing more. I've done quite a few. I only started doing project panning, I think like middle of 2018. Um, I, my first one was a like 10 by summer and I think that was ambitious. I don't think you should start with a project that big. It was just too many products. Um, but after that, I did a finished five by fall that went really well. And then I did a finished six by solstice that also went really well. And also throughout 2018, I did a, my first pan that palette, an entire pan that palette. And so far this year, oh, this year I've got a lot. I've got a pan that palette. I've got a nine pan 19. I have an eight by Easter and, ooh, I'm forgetting one, the HP project pan, which is a whole lot of fun. I love that one. And I'm definitely going to be doing more throughout the year. Question number five, I kind of just already answered. It's, are you doing any other projects in addition to Project Pan, i.e. Pan That Palette, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I just, we went through it. <laughs> Question number six is, do you limit your spending or go on a no-buy while on a Project Pan? Not really. I personally have never been on a no-buy or a low-buy, but recently I've definitely seen myself become more critical of my makeup purchases and not like super consciously. I'm just becoming more aware of what I actually own and I'm using that information to really inform my decisions about what I want to buy. So I'm still buying things that I want. I just bought that ColourPop palette. I placed an Ulta order for the 21 Days of Beauty. I got some MAC Paint Pots. I'm not going overboard with my makeup spending, but I'm not also like holding myself back from buying something that I want. Question number seven is, who are your favorite project panners to watch? So I've got a few. I really love watching LS. Um, I really love watching Amber F, especially because she's been working on the subculture palette, which is my pan that palette. So I really love like whenever she does get ready with me. So she talks about other palettes she likes to use a subculture. I'm like all over those because they're so informative and I love them. I also love watching my friends. Christina Chang came up with the HP Project Pan and I love watching her updates and her other project pans. I love watching my friends that are just getting into panning, uh, like Amy from Dolly Mama Beauty just got into project panning, and Victoria of Rare Beauty Envy, she just started doing it as well. So I really love like the variety of people you can find in the community. You find like total beginners you can find people that have been doing this for quite some time and then you can find like old not old oh that sounded horrible no you can find like the experienced elders of the project planning community that just i look up to and like i aspire to be like them question number eight is what is your number one tip for a successful project pan honestly i think it's to be realistic and not take on more than you can handle like I said with my first project pan, my 10 by summer, that was too much to take on at once. Definitely start small with a four pan, a five pan, something smaller that you can really focus on and learn from. And from there, just kind of like build up. I think that, that's my number one tip because if you go in and you're like, I want to pan 20 products and then you don't do it, you're going to get super discouraged. But if you start small and work your way up, you can really learn a lot along the way and become a part of the bigger community. Question number nine is what is your goal for your makeup collection through project panning? I think my number one goal for this is just really to become more aware of my collection and not just to buy things for the sake of having a collection, but really to curate my collection. And that ties into learning more about my makeup preferences, what works well for me, and what I work well with. So ultimately, like my biggest goal is really to pinpoint formulas that work well for me, uh, techniques that work really well for me, really to just like fine tune my own awareness of my makeup preferences. That way I can tailor my collection 
to what works best for me. And our last question, question number 10, is which project planners do you tag to do this questionnaire next? I'm sure if people have been aware of this for a while, they've probably already done the tag, but I would love to see new responses to this, especially from people who are just getting into project planning for the first time. So I really wanna tag three people. I would love to tag Christina Chang, Amy from Dolly Mama Beauty, and Victoria from Wear Beauty Envy. I would love to see you guys' answers to this tag. Even if I didn't mention you and you want to do this tag, I tag you. Please do it and let me know. I would love to see your answers to this. Just let me know in a comment down below if you're going to answer on Instagram or if you're going to put up a video. I would love to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this tag Tuesday. As always, let me know down below what other tag videos you would like to see, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.